Hello, welcome to today's edition of Pegasus Test. On today's edition, we're covering the Zombie Invitational 3-Gun of 2021. And we finished up all our rifle stages, and now we're moving on to our first shotgun stage. And we're back at what turned out to be the first stage that I shot on the rifle side, which is stage 2. And uh, this time it's shotgun. The course is basically the same. You're doing pistol and shotgun. You can solve the problem any uh, way that you want. You do have the ability, if you so choose, to go from pistol to shotgun, back to pistol, back to shotgun, however you want. But what did you have to do? Well, you started from the buzzer. You went up to your first position. You had a plate rack. Knock all six down. Uh, then you had two portholes to which to engage uh, shotgun poppers, which means you knocked it down with a hit. It launched a clay, and then you had to hit the clay before it came down. Uh, then you had an Irish plate rack, which had eight plates on it and spun once you started hitting them. And then you had four steel silhouette targets you had to engage with your slugs. So you had pistol targets, you had uh, shotgun targets that had to be engaged with birdshot, and then shotgun targets that had to be engaged with your slugs. It presents an interesting conundrum. Let's take a look how I did, and we'll talk about it on the other end. Nice. Time-wise, this was a solid run for me. Uh, Penalty-wise, eh, not so much. So I managed to pick up one hit on the um, shotgun slug targets and on the shotgun um, targets where you had a popper that threw up a clay. I got the popper down. Clay went up. Unfortunately, didn't hit the clay. And I'm going to blame that one on the sun because literally the first one, I was literally looking into the sun. And the second one, by the time it went up in the sun, I lost it and came back and I saw it. It was just too late on the engagement. So racked up a pretty good steep set of penalties on that. However, the pistol portion went really good for me. You saw on the first plate rack, cleared it in seven rounds. Cleared the whole uh, Irish plate rack in uh, seven rounds. And I did that because the plate rack had broke several competitors earlier. Uh, one of the uh, plates would not uh, go in because somebody knocked the post off. So instead of being an eight plate rack, it was a seven plate rack. But seven plates, seven shots, you can't complain about that. Nice challenging stage. You had to come up with a strategy on this one. My strategy was do all the pistol stuff, get it out of the way, go to the shotgun. So went up to the first thing, cleaned them like I mentioned earlier, bypassed the two shotgun popper targets, went to clear the Irish plate rack, stepped over one, engaged the uh, four silhouettes with slugs through the uh, port, which was a requirement. And then, because I was shooting a K KSG, I had one tube on slugs, s finished off the slugs, switched it over, fumbled with the switch a little, cost me a little few seconds of time there, switched over to the bird shot, backtracked without breaking the 180, went to the first port, engaged the shotgun popper and clay from there, then moved to the second port and engaged shotgun popper and clay there. And by the way, those ports were specific. You had to engage from those ports. So like I said in synopsis, pretty solid run time-wise, marred by uh, racking up too many penalties. But a really fun stage, one you had to think, and one where probably uh, being the first shooter was not the best, because I know I was near the last part of this, and that's because... Uh, I got tacked onto the squad at the end, 
but I got the advantage of seeing everybody go ahead of me, so I got a really good idea of what was working and what wasn't. Now, why did I get tacked onto this squad? Well, on Saturday, there were six squads in all six stages. Sunday, there was only five shotgun stages. And after my squad completed our rifle stage that we had to shoot on Sunday, we were broken up and dispersed out to the other squads, uh, which was... I get why they do it, but kind of a little bit bittersweet, honestly, in the fact that spent a day with uh, my squad, got really uh, building up some uh, teamwork and camaraderie with them, and then Sunday you shoot together on a rifle stage, and then it's like, uh, bye everybody, see you at the award ceremony. Trust me, totally understand why the match organi organizers did it that way, but still a little bit of a bummer having to switch up in the middle of it. Anyways, hope you're enjoying this coverage of the Zombie Invitational 3-Gun of 2021, and tune in tomorrow for another exciting shotgun stage.